Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Particle Physics Brick by Brick, where we're trying to explain as much about particle physics as we can through the medium of Lego. In this episode, we're going to be talking about quarks. Now, a quark is a fundamental particle. By fundamental, we mean that it is an indivisible building block of nature. There are six flavors, which is the particle physics term for types of quark, that are found in nature. There is the up quark and the down quark. The up quark and down quark are found in protons and neutrons, and they are therefore the most common types of quark in our universe. Then there is the heavier version of the up quark, which is called the charm quark, and a heavier version of the down quark called the strange quark. These are the second generations of quark. They have exactly the same properties as the up and down quarks, aside from the fact that they have a greater mass. They have exactly the same way of interacting with the strong interaction and exactly the same electric charge. There are heavier versions still of the up, called the top quark. Then there is a heavier version still of the down, called the bottom quark. The top and the bottom quark are so massive that they're actually heavier than the proton itself. These quarks are only really found in very high energy scenarios, such as in particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider. Now, each of these particles have an electric charge. As mentioned, the up type quarks have plus two thirds of the electronic charge, where the electronic charge E is the magnitude of charge that is on an electron or a proton. The down type quarks have minus one third of this electronic charge. These six quarks make up half of the fundamental building blocks of nature. There are another six called leptons, which sit beside them, the electron and its heavier versions, and also neutrinos. There's more on leptons in another video. Quarks take their place in the wider picture of particles in the family of fermions, because they have a spin of one half. This means that they behave certain statistics and interact in certain ways. In fact, it's the property that means that they build up to create things like baryons, protons, neutrons, etc. They're joined by the leptons. The leptons and the quarks, being the fundamental building blocks of matter, are both fermions with a spin a half. There are also other particle families, such as hadrons. The name hadron is given to any particle which contains quarks, such as protons or neutrons, which are collectively known as baryons, as they contain three of these quarks. Then there are particles which contain quarks and antiquarks. These are called mesons. These are not fermions, they do not have a spin of a half, but instead are known as bosons with a spin of zero, or integer spin. Other bosons, alongside these mesons, are the gauge bosons, which are the particles that carry the forces in nature, and the Higgs boson, which provides mass to all these particles. In 1964, quarks were predicted to exist by Murray Gelman and George Zweig in looking at the symmetry between the behaviors of different baryon and meson particles. In 1968, quarks were discovered at the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center, where electrons were scattered off of protons, revealing that inner structure and revealing the quarks inside. They were named by Murray Gelman, who had the sound quark in his head, but at the time he didn't have the word to fit the sound. But eventually he found his word in Finnegan's Wake by James Joyce in the sentence three quarks for muster mark. And quark is an old English for a cheer. So hip hip hooray for the quark. Thanks for listening. If you would like to know more, subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on social media for more information. You could also buy the book. Particle Physics Brick by Brick is available through online retailers and many local bookstores. Other languages are also available. If you follow this bit.ly link, you can also get access to lots of educational resources and information on where you can get your hands on LEGO to play along. LEGO is a registered trademark of the LEGO Group, which does not sponsor, authorise or endorse these videos in any way.